Hello everyone and um, welcome to JVM September uh, meetup in this new venue which we are pretty excited about. So thanks to Aconex for the wonderful venue and beer and uh, our food sponsor tonight is Doc Moses. So as always later tonight we'll be doing um, a JetBeans raffle um, where you can where the winner gets any of the JetBrains pr um, product, so not necessarily IntelliJ. Uh, tonight we have two wonderful talks uh, by Ken and Paul. Two different talks, but that's a lot to talk. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah, this is good. It's fine, right? Okay, I'm good there. <laughs> so, Sorry, folks. No problem. <laughs> so uh, Ken is going to talk about. Um, mocks and uh, how mocks are bad so uh, we are going to uh, so he's going to show us some code patterns and how uh, we can design to avoid mocks and stops and later on Paul is going to uh, talk about his project uh, personal uh, personal data lockers so it's an al alternative to um, loading your data on the cloud so you can have your own personal data locker in small devices like um, uh, like uh, Raspberry Pi and use it to access it anytime. So we'll hear more about that. Um, let's move on to some news that's been happening uh, over the last month. So there was, Mel uh, there was JVM Language Summit which was held in Santa Clara between August 10th and 12th and this um, had a bunch of very technical talks so it's not a marketing mm -hmm. event. So. Um, very technical talks by the the who uh, the uh, the most knowledgeable people of Java like Mark Reinhold and Brian Getz and everyone. So you can get all the videos um, there up on uh, YouTube and um, some of the interesting uh, talks among them were uh, Brian Getz's uh, talk about um, how they went about um, implementing some of the features. Um, for Valhalla, um, so that includes talks. Uh, uh, that, that in that he talks about um, generics for primitives, so generics for the non-boxed um, or unboxed um, int types, so list of ints. So that will be interesting when it comes out. Um, and uh, and then uh, Mark Reinhold talks about the fate of SunMisk unsafe. Um, he de describes it as a tragic fate, but I don't think it's such a tragic <coughs> fate because you know there's there's a plan of uh, moving over. So, uh, so how many here have used SunMisk Unsafe at all? One. Okay. So, <laughs> well, um, it is. It's. Um, I think it's expected because it is not supposed to be. Um, publicly, uh, it's not supposed to be a public API. It's supposed to be something which is uh, to be used only within the JDK. Um, so it's it has a bunch of uh, native. It's it, it supports native operations. So um, something uh, something similar to pointer arithmetic in uh, C. If you have ever done it, it can be fun, but not the safest things. So. <laughs> But uh, well, if any of your projects uses one of these libraries like cryo serialization or Hibernate or Hadoop, Cassandra, Akka, then they all use uh, SunMisk Unsafe. So just you know, just stopping support for that would be a big, big deal. So that's why um, they have a plan. Uh, they have a plan to move, move it over. Um, so what they're doing is they're staging the um, staging make it, making it um, deprecated in this release and the future release they're they're kind of um, they're removing it. So it's not like Java 9 is going to come out and SunMisk Unsafe is just not going to be there. So it's not going to happen. So in uh, future releases, slowly it's going to be staged out. Um, so let's move on to other news now. Uh, Java 9 is going to have 
REPL, uh, JShell. So now Java can claim to be in the same things like Scala or Python, right? So they all have REPL. Um, mm -hmm. And then uh, another news, which is a little old, it came out end of July. That's JRuby 9000. 9000 is a is a big number, but that's actually for version 9.0.0. Um, they, they wanted to make it uh, sound different than um, Ruby uh, Ruby versions. So uh, this supports uh, Ruby 2.2, and um, and uh, it works on um, Java 7 or higher. It has major improvements, though. Um, so there's um, improvements to um, sorry. Yeah, so <laughs> there's uh, uh, concurrency um, and um, improvements to native integration, so I/O and process management and so on. So it's worth a check out. Um, and then uh, Scala 2.12 is also out. I think it's late July it was out, um, and it works on Java 8 or newer. And so um, all its closures are now being emitted in. Um, you know, Java 8 Lambda style, so that's that's interesting. Um, and then Spring, I think there's going to be a Spring conference sometime this month, uh, but um, they have announced two major releases to be in 2016, so 4.3 and 5.0. Uh, the 5.0 one will only support Java um, 8 and above. Um, and then last, so this is only news concerning people who use um, Java applets. So I think that's pretty much almost none. But uh, <laughs> but if anyone is using it, <laughs> oh, all right. So so if you're using Chrome, then you'll no no longer be <laughs> using Chrome to launch it because Chrome with 45, which got released yesterday, I think September 1st. So that's not um, going to support the NP API, which is a cross-platform uh, which enables the browsers to launch it. Um, same thing is <coughs> applicable to even Silverlight, I guess. So uh, that's about the news. And Google, saying Google, Google has come out with a new logo too, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on. So next meetup, it will be in the old location, uh, lo old location, which is People Bank, on 7th October. Um, and the topic and speaker is yet in the works, but stay tuned. And uh, here is the way you can stay tuned, I guess. So uh, these are the ways you can connect, like, share, subscribe, whatever. And thanks, everyone, for coming today. <laughs>